All right, I'm about ready to go on my own. Um, some of the kings tried to get me to join them as I'm independent. And uh, I lost points with them. You lose about three each three relation each time you turn them down for becoming a vassal. I noticed that, <clears throat> where is it? Carafe is in the corner of the map, not too far from a city. The city belongs to a different country. And um, if you look at Carafe Castle, it has 76 men in there which is half of what I, my max is almost 150. I've been trying to keep my party morale up using the food uh, because when you max out your troops, your, uh, it's, the morale becomes a big problem. If I didn't have the food, I'd be out of morale. So... Because I want to take Carafe Castle, I need to start trouble with um, the Saranid Sultanate. And this guy, Amir Haida, I don't really know him. See, my relation is zero with this guy anyway. So I'll start by telling him I'm Tanamora. Uh, do not expect me to go easy on you when we meet in the battlefield. I'm here to deliver you my demands. Eh, what do you want? I offer you one chance to surrender or die. And uh, what do I hope to gain? None of your business. Prepare for a fight. So now Amir Haida, <laughs> he does not like me at all. Let's do it. Charge. The same routine as we do every time. F1, F1, and now zero, F2, F1. I'll have everybody advance. F2, F1. Two, F1. Backspace to see where he's at. F2, F1. All right, zero, F1, F3. Let's have our people charge. Mm. 
I do believe that would be the battle. That guy will disappear off the screen. Okay. So we had one killed. That's fine that the Emir escaped. Um, I need one troop. We'll take, um, well, we'll see. We don't really need those boots, but. So now that started a fight. Now, let's head up to Carafe Castle. Now that I'm at negative three with them. See, if you look at the reports, I'm in negative three, suspicious. That will let me attack that castle now. So let's head up. Let's actually, yeah. Um, let's do this as quick as possible. Now, from what I understand, the auto calc when you attack a castle is uh, is in your favor, but when defending, it's better for you to participate in the battle. Um, when attacking, it's better to let the computer. Notice it said my party is spotted by Ellerda. That tells you I'm at war, technically, with the Saranid Sultanate. Watch, when I go by Riendi Castle. Oh, it didn't say that I'm spotted. So our goal here is going to be to capture th that castle. And people are healing while we're riding. And be because of our skills that I put on the party, like um, the trainer skill, that is what lets them gain the level so quickly. So now we're maxed out at 149 troops. And off to Carath Castle we go. Notice our party is spotted by Wea Castle. That tells you when you're, you know, at an enemy of somebody, it says that you're spotted. And my party is spotted by Mit Noon. And now let's take Karaf Castle. Besiege the castle. Prepare ladders to attack the walls. Notice with an engi engineer skill of eight, it'll just take four hours. Do it. Four hours, it, because we're at the other edge of the map, the emir, uh, the Sanjar, is at Ravidin. He's more than four hours away. Now I'm going to order my soldiers to attack without me because the auto-calculate, from what I understand, does better on the attack for you. Um, because it skips certain things. Uh, I had 21 killed, but they had 20. Remember, I had twice as many troops of them. So if we go one for one, I'm going to end up winning the castle. Continue. Continue. Order to attack again. 
11 killed, 24. So now, I for every one of mine, two of theirs went down. So now I have the advantage. And if I went one for one, I would still have half my party left. Continue. And we'll do it again. And we claim the walls. We now have our own country. Um, but people are wounded. So Ferentis says, Sire, we have taken Caraf Castle. Who do you wish to give it to? I want to have Caraf Castle for myself. You take the first one for yourself. Ferentis, as you wish, Sire, you will be the new lord of Caraf Castle. Caraf Castle has fallen to your troops, and you now have full control of the castle. You may station troops here to defend it against enemies who may try to recapture it. Also, you should select now whether you will hold the castle for yourself or give it to a faithful vassal. And I don't want to give up. If you appoint Borcha or Ralph, you'll have to give them up. One of the reasons you get married earlier on is your wife can be the um um be the person that uh um you appoint so this way you don't lose any of your party members and she'll be the new minister and she'll be found in the court at Carath Castle um and it says to avoid the accumulation of unresolved issues I should consult her periodically and I'll call it Ten Morris Kingdom. You can change the name here. And they welcome me as their king. So first, the garrison. So I'm going to... I only lost about 35 troops. So I'm going to put uh, half of... I'll put everything but 10 of each of the troops in there. So... Um, I'll drop my Swardian sergeants down to 10. Sharpshooter. Down to 10. The knight. I'll be fast so I could run away. And uh, with these I should be I have a de reasonable castle defense. Um, let's go to the hall. And she is my minister. There are no urgent matters which need your attention. See, I wish for, I wish to grant, um, that is all for now. Okay, um, we manage the garrison. We have Caraf Castle and Mint Noon. Now, we need to, um, grow, we have... 50, 74 people to defend the castle. Um, I think I want Rodox because th they're a little tougher than um, the Saranid Sult Sultanate troops. So I'm going to head into the Rodox territory and I'm going to Grab all my troops from there. Ah, look. And the Saranid Sultanate offered me a peace agreement. He's a, I'm going to accept. And by the way, that gives you right to rule when you go to peace. Now look. If you look at the Saranid Sultanate. They are at war with Swadia and the Vagars. The land that I got is isolated and away from them. 
their main city is Tolga. I mean, not Tolga. Um, they are in Ravidin now, which is reasonably far, uh, far away from, um, from where I am here, near Cherise. Cherise, which is owned by the Kyrgyz Khanate. The Kyrgyz Khanate will probably be our problems. So, and that's, and that's how you start your own territory. I'm going to go recruit troops and work on building my um, enough people to defend. And that's how you go on your own. Thank you.